What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with AEW action figure news for you guys. Yes, wrestling AEW action figure news for you. Covering this side of things for Comic-Con because we did not discuss it just yet. We didn't get to check out any of the different stuff. I actually got to do a walkthrough of this, of course, but they didn't have near the stuff that Mattel did. And Mattel usually goes above and beyond anybody that's there. So that's kind of what's insane. As you know, you can make like a 10, 20 minute video walking through their booth because... They reveal more stuff than almost anybody, but AEW had like a small booth there, or Jazzwares had a big booth. It was a very nice setup as well. It was one of the better booths I saw as far as the aesthetic of it, but the AEW section was pretty small. There's a few different portals or little booths there that you got to check out into the windows, but we did get some brand new stuff revealed to us, and I want to discuss it, discuss it all here, talk, talk about what was revealed at the panel, and just kind of dive into all the different things, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and analysis on different stuff. People have been asking me if I think they're going this certain way and what this means for the future and all this different stuff. So let's just shut the hell up and dive into it and discuss all those things here today and let's dive into it. So first off, man, let's start things off with like the big reveal, right? The big thing that they talked about on the panel was the Ring of Honor action figures. Now I remember I did a whole video discussing Ring of Honor figures coming soon. We knew it by the teaser trailer they showed us at that one fan fest. I can't remember exactly what it was, but nobody covered it, right? Like nobody talked about the trailer. And then I got on here and we discussed it and we showed off the trailer and what that showed off and nobody was really discussing it And then so they came out at the panel and did reveal to us that we are in fact getting ring of honor figures And I'll tell as we discuss the figures I'll kind of dive into what I think that means what the numbers mean where I think the model is going to be Will they be at retail all those different things? So let's go ahead and dive into it man starting out first we have the ring of honor briscoe brothers so the Briscoes are coming in this Ring of Honor line, and they also, while they were showing off this Ring of Honor line, they shuffled through and they showed us some packaging samples, right? We got to see, like, Brian Danielson's packaging. We got to see Claudio Castelloni's packaging or Cesaro's packaging. We also got to see Dan Housen and Kenny Omega. So I'm guessing, like, the first wave of these figures will probably be Brian Danielson, Cesaro, or Claudio, Dan Housen, and Kenny Omega, if I had to guess. And then we had some other figures coming down the line. But I would guess those are probably our first four figures we're going to get, and then down the line, We'll see these other figures coming, but you guys will notice on these boxes and up in the corner of all these photos There is a Jazzwares vault logo and the Jazzwares vault logo is what they put at the end of the Ring of Honor Trailer when they showed it to us at that fan fest So everybody was like what the hell is Jazzwares vault? What is this gonna be and my I don't think they like fully announced it Like I don't think they came out and said this is exactly what it's gonna be but all the signs point towards to me at least this is what my best guess is it seems to me that it's going to be their version of of a Mattel Creations. It's going to be their version of a Hasbro Pulse where it is a direct-to-consumer website where they won't have to worry about the retail market. They can put figures there that maybe traditionally wouldn't be accepted by a retail space and uh, they, they could probably do stuff that are made to order that way as well. Maybe not necessarily with these Ring of Honor figures or whatever which I'll dive into in just a moment but I think that that's probably where we're headed with these figures and stuff like that. So they can do make, made to order similar to like an Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes, right? They put up, they put a, they put up a pre-order for a week or two. They fill out how many orders they're gonna get, and then boom, they get made. Or they're gonna put up five thousand or whatever on the website, and then you can go there and order it. Which gets us into these Ring of Honor figures because if you look on the packaging down there, it does say one of five thousand. That little gold sticker says Jazzwares Vault one of five thousand. So what I'm guessing is they're gonna put these up on Jazzwares Vault, or yeah, the Mattel Creations, quote unquote. It's gonna be the Jazzwares Vault. They're gonna put that up there, and there's gonna be five thousand available. And then once they're gone, they're gone. So it's going to be people that really want them can jump on there and grab those. Now, I don't think, obviously, these Ring of Honor figures, once you guys see these, and I know I've been showing pictures and shuffling through. We haven't got to, like, talk about them just yet. But putting these up at a retail shop, they probably wouldn't be the hottest figures of all time, right? Like, there are definitely fans of these figures that want these figures made, which is why they're going to be available to us and all these different things. But I don't think Sally Lou is going down the aisle looking for Ring of Honor Brian Danielson. You know what I'm saying? So I think that is exactly what... What the model is here to get these cool looks and throwback looks of certain guys they're going to be on this Jazzwares vault. Now, nothing has been 
confirmed. I'm just throwing out my research and the things that I have like detailed and kind of looked into. So let's just go ahead and dive into these figures, man, with all that stuff being said. And then we'll also get into like the chase figures and stuff like that, what I thought about that and all those things. But we do have the Briscoes coming. We didn't get to actually see figures of these guys, but we do know that they are coming. So that is huge news. Can't wait to see what those guys look like and what the figures look like. I know a lot of people are going to be really excited to have those guys. We also had a look and apparently I think this is going to be a two pack. Like we saw three different versions of guys. So I'm guessing that the Briscoes are going to be a two pack. Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole are going to be a two pack. And then the Young Bucks are going to be a two pack is what I'm guessing here. But looking at Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, solid throwback little head sculpts and stuff. I think they do look like younger versions of themselves. Very cool. I like that we have like, you know, their specific trunks and everything like that. We also have, I feel like Adam Cole's formula is all kind of jacked up, to be honest with you, right? We've seen multiple Adam Coles now. We've got the Target exclusive. I haven't reviewed it. I don't know if I'm going to. Maybe just leave it men on card. But Adam Cole, we've seen him in Unrivaled Line, and now we have the Target exclusive. Now we have this one. I'm sure that he'll get a Supreme sooner or later. But I think they need to redo his formula. I'm not big on his formula. Arms look a bit long. But Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole are a two-pack. And then we also got to see the Young Bucks here, which look to be pretty good. They come with a cease and desist shirt, which looks sick. Their head sculpts look sick. The pants look dope. I mean, they're just like plain black. But I do like the zebra belt, which is good. But cease and desist shirts are very sweet. I hope they come with two of those and two of the vests. So that way, you know, we'll get some good stuff. And hopefully they won't be rubber. They'll actually be cloth. And maybe they won't stain the figure. But there is Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson. Pretty good looking young bucks. And they are cool that they're throwback. And I like the cease and desist shirts. Really a moment in time there. Really captures that there with the young bucks. And then we also had a look at the first wave of these Ring of Honor figures. We have the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Looks pretty good here. You have the long-haired head sculpt and you have the shaved head sculpt. Pretty good. I like his first go around. I don't know if they're going to switch out the torso. I guess if, you know, the worst comes to worst, you can get another MJF and switch out the torso so it makes more sense. Looks better proportionately. But it's a good American Dragon. His first figure was good and it looks like he's going to come with a Ring of Honor microphone as well as his entrance gear. Now, hopefully that entrance gear is cloth goods and not uh, a rubber jacket because a rubber jacket with a hood is not going to look good for anybody so hopefully that will be cloth goods but it, we do get his american dragon entrance coat and then we also have a look at claudio castelloni pretty crazy kind of looking like he's from the 70s or something like with the cheetah print and everything he looks a bit wild but he's got the hair on there pretty interesting and it's kind of crazy we don't even have a regular claudio just yet so having this throwback version before that would be crazy but hopefully his accessories are also cloth goods hopefully we don't get any rubber accessories but that remains to be seen but this looks pretty cool it is interesting to see i think like a ring of honor shelf wrapping up ring of honor with like dvds and like classic ring of honor would be really dope and also figures toy company has an old ring of honor ring right that you could have had yeah that, that would add a lot to this setup so that's something as well that you might want to do but Claudio's looking pretty good. You get two interchangeable head sculpts there for options. And then we also have another Danhausen figure. This makes his, what, like fifth figure. We have the Amazon 2-pack, the Ringside Exclusive, the Unrivaled 13, the Unrivaled 13 Chase, this version. They're going to be pumping out Danhausen because Danhausen is where the money's at. I actually got to meet him at Comic-Con too. Couldn't grab a photo because of the meet and greet, but I did get to meet him and that was very awesome. But he comes with his jar of teeth there and he also comes with his cape. Very sick-ass figure right here. I'm very much looking forward to this one. I can't wait to just get our, our Dan Housen, man. Hopefully it'll be hitting soon. Should be getting like our ringside exclusive one very soon or the two pack from Amazon, hopefully. But there is another Dan Housen looking pretty good. And then we have a throwback Kenny Omega, which looks so crazy, man. Looks like he's like 17 or something right here, man. Look at him with a bushy haircut. He's got the black and blue attire. Very cool. Got the peace hand. You have his like grabbing hands. You have the fists. He's got his Hadouken hands. Very badass figure. I look forward to this. Can't wait to have a throwback Kenny Omega in the shorter trunks. Oh, the figure just looks like it's going to be able to pose around really well, so that's good stuff there. But you have Kenny Omega. We, of course, also got to see their men on card, like what their boxes are going to look like. And then we also got to see this three-pack. Now, I don't know if this is a three-pack. I'm guessing it's going to be a three-pack, but we got to see Death Triangle with the trios titles. And we're looking at another Pentagon, another Ray Phoenix, and another Pac, but they do come with the championships here. You get the trios championships, and it also comes with the Transatlantic or the International Championship here 
with the AEW. So you get four belts if this is indeed a three pack. So that's a pretty cool way to get that, you know. You get four four belts in a three pack. It's pretty good. And the Ray Phoenix and the Pentagon and the Pac all look badass. So I like that. If that is indeed a three pack, which it kind of looks like it is, that is a pretty cool pack. I like that pack. You can sign me up for that pack. We also saw some Supreme Editions. Now I don't know if this is going to be Jazzwares Vault exclusive or what, but we did get to see this Malachi Black and it was in the case. So that was pretty cool to see that shown off. You got like different masks. It comes with five different heads. It comes with a black garb. He does have like two different style trunks there, but I mean, this is all in how toyetic this thing is, man. I mean, look at this Malachi Black, bro. Look at the head sculpts. I mean, this guy has so much going on with it. So many different things with this Malachi Black, but I think this is the one we saw chilling inside of the case there if i'm not mistaken i could be mistaken but maybe we got two different versions but i think this is the same one we saw but a good looking malachi black nonetheless on the supreme collection then we also got to see a cm punk supreme collection figure which was very bad a comes with a jacket which was cloth goods. There was also like a... Mo like, this figure looks like it's not too far behind, man. It looks like it's ready to go very, very soon. You have the CM Punk there with two different trunks attired. You get the sleeveless shirt. You get four interchangeable heads. AEW Championship track jacket. Lots of different options here. Very excited for this CM Punk figure in the Supreme Collection. No word yet on the next Supreme Collection. No word yet on the Thunder Rosa or anything like that from Series 4. We're still waiting on that. You know, what is expected of that. But this CM Punk figure does look badass. Lots of accessories. Lots of things going on with it. But I am very excited for the CM Punk just for the different interchangeability. And he's going to have butterfly joints. So I know a lot of people are going to be happy about a Supreme. And it is like the camo gears. The camo gear shorts. And then you have like the black and white gear. So so you get like the black solid tights with the camo. Like, dude, this is sick as hell. Very excited for the CM Punk figure. And then we also got to see some figures chilling inside of the Detolfs here. And one thing you guys will see is you do have an Orange Cassidy there. It looks to have a different shirt with the championship. And it's very interesting because we got to see like a few different new figures chilling throughout. Like you'll see Hook on display there. You got to see the the Butcher, the Blade, and the Bunny in there. A lot of people pissed off about the Bunny being a chase, not a figure that's going to be pushed out to retail. But if that figure was put into like a main line, I feel like it would have shelf him for days, man. So making it a chase figure, I don't know. I don't know how hard it's going to be to get, but I don't know how easy it's going to be to get either. I guess that like kind of remains to be seen, but I know a lot of people are not excited and I get it because she is like a unique character so it's going to be difficult to get those unique characters if they're chase figures but I don't know man I, I, I really don't know the the full answer to that but it's, I guess it's something that we'll have, have to play around with but we also saw a Thunder Rosa in gold right there and then we also got to see this other case with an MJF in the middle now one thing that's interesting about this MJF is you guys will notice he does have like his brown strap championship he's got like this gold scarf and it's very it's a very cool figure the Wardlow back there is sick as hell I actually had a dream about him last night it was kind of weird you guys know i love wardlow so that was pretty cool but it wasn't i want to say like he was a fighter or something in the i don't know it's like he was a professional fighter and i was like there watching him professionally fight but i got to like meet him it was very weird but he was like beating the hell out of people i don't i don't know but i'm all for wardlow you know wardlow looks badass in the red i do believe that's the unrivaled 13 it may not be the unrivaled 13 but the thunder rosa in gold you had the ringside exclusive dan Housen over there the ringside exclusive hook was on display. I mean, there was a lot of stuff going on in this case, but it was really cool to see that in person and stuff like that. You guys are probably going to see footage of that on the channel at some point. I don't know. I don't know exactly where that will be plugged in at, but but I mean, that's pretty much everything that we got shown. We got to see, you know, some different renders and stuff like that, and then we got this new stuff in the case. But, but I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our AEW San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, San Diego Comic-Con coverage for 2023, man, had a lot of fun out there checking out Jazzwares' new products and AEW, man. Always appreciate them. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this stuff down in the comment section below. You think it's buns? You think it's great? Leave me all your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. But I am getting out of here. Huge shout-out to our patron exclusive members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested in becoming a Patreon member, check the link in the description below. But I think that is going to wrap it up for me today. Man, I'm actually starving, and I have fall camp that starts today for football, so I am just, and I'm moving houses, so I am just one great big dealing pile of shish. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. We'll never back down. We will not Let's